Yes, this message is for Donera, this uh, GM at InShape. Uh, I saw uh, some of our members were complaining the other day that you're standing on top of our multi-stations uh, doing squats, which is impressive, but that's not what the machines are used for. They have to be only used for what they are designed for. If that happens again, we will be forced to take further measures in regards to your membership here because we don't want anybody to get hurt. And by you doing that, it encourages other people, which we don't want to have at all. So if you could give me a call, we could talk. I would appreciate it. But that needs to stop in the weight room uh, for us. So I appreciate that. Also, I understand that uh, you've been taking videos inside the club. We do not allow that for anybody. So I, uh, that's what we we have to stop also. So if you could give me a call because I'd hate to take further action. You're a good member, but I can't have that stuff continue. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. What the hell, boy? What you guys just heard is a voicemail from the manager in InShape. All right, I don't know how they found out that it was me doing that, but somebody snitched. I don't know who did, but somebody snitched. And uh, the manager called me and left a voicemail saying that I cannot do those crazy stuff. And you know what? I strongly agree with them because I do not want to see other people get hurt by trying this movement. I learned on a different type of place where there's, you know, safety ground, but I did progressions for this. So I do not want to see other people get hurt uh, when they see me. So I, I agree with, so I, I understand what the manager is trying to tell me. You know, he's trying to protect other people's privacy and safety because it can be a hassle for them and it's important because they can get sued for this. So I completely understand. Before you attend any crazy flips, movements, or anything you do, Make sure you guys, you guys, guys go through a pro progressions. Do not know what progressions are. Progression, progression is a way to learn a move that comes to uh, sections by sections to accomplish the final product. So, for example, if I wanted to um, do a push-up, I would normally do a crossover push-ups, and after that, I will move to the next progression, which is without the uh, cross over my on my foot. And learn how the movement is. Study it before you actually do it and go out there because if other people go and see it, they're gonna try to do it and what's gonna happen, they are gonna hurt themselves by doing it. So I encourage you to learn before before you try it. If you see other people doing it, if it looks dangerous, you know, you know, that's when you gotta think, oh man, you know, he probably went through progression server to get that. So make sure you guys practice before any movement somewhere else that you feel comfortable doing. With that being said, I just wanted to, uh, uh, I just wanted to address that for you guys, for any guys out there or any guy or girl uh, that is, want to perform a crazy movement. There's always progression for every every crazy move that you, you guys want to learn. So make sure you guys stick with that first before you actually do it. And you know, feel confident too because uh, you don't want to get hurt, you know. So at the end of the day, I end up calling the manager for InShape and let him know that I understand and that that won't happen again because it's dangerous and I don't want people to get hurt. So. Now that's being said, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what uh, my channel is gonna be based on. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, so let's begin with our video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than other. Ever since I opened my channel or I created my channel, I haven't done an uh, intro to my channel. So in this video, I wanna take my time to explain what my channel is all about. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider uh, subscribe to my channel. I do logs, how to do videos, review videos, and workout videos. Um, mostly, all it's all about fitness and logs. So, and a little bit of a dance here and there, but not too much. I try to stick on as much on um, on people requests. For example, I have people will say, "Hey, you can do a video on how to do reggaeton or how to do do uh, cha cha dance." Uh, I'm normally doing for them because it's about uh, you know give you guys what you want. Um, based on my own knowledge. With that being said, I want to share. I also want to share with you guys the projects that I I have been um, one accomplished before the year ends. You guys can hold me to it. So, one of the projects is to become a personal trainer. I'm actually studying right now to become a personal trainer to deliver better and good quality information for you guys because. 
it's important to, to educate yourself when it comes to working out, avoid injuries and all that. Uh, project number two is hopefully um, once I stop, once I pass this, uh, once I pass this test of personal training, I want to focus more on um, my ebook that I'm will be releasing later this year. It's gonna be about it's gonna be about fat loss, anything you need to know about fat loss, and it's gonna have uh, meal meal plans, uh, workout routines, and anything that will help you to lose over, uh, overall body fat. So um, it'll educate you. The other project that I'm working on right now too is prove myself physically is on my neck and a little bit on my traps. I feel like my traps and my neck is a little bit more work and that's something that I'm willing to uh, put effort, maybe train it two times a week uh, to be able to see results. And uh, so you can see right now, um, I, right now I feel kind of sore. If you guys want to see my neck workout, go ahead and comment down below. If you guys really want to see it, I'll go ahead and make a tutorial on it. But yesterday was actually one of my first days that I've been working out on my neck and let me tell you, I feel super sore right now. Like every time I come over here, it hurts. Every time I come over here, it hurts. And what I did yesterday, I did a, <coughs> I hit the neck on, on all different angles and then let me tell you, man, it's freaking hard. Uh, if you do it right, avoid injuries, I'm willing to uh, make a video of it. So, because it makes a big difference when you guys have a you know a good developed neck compared to a skinny neck you know what i'm trying to say is at least work your, your neck once a week a lot of people they don't work out because they don't really know it or they feel shame or they feel like shy or not feel good doing it at the gym because other people are watching so for example a lot of people would look at me weird at the gym doing those crazy necks workouts and then i'm like okay whatever i'm not doing it for them i'm doing it for me so guys, if you find this video very helpful, I just want to let you know that uh, what I've been working on and my channel is consist of, please go like, subscribe to my channel, to, uh, that's how you will show some support to me. And uh, yeah guys, so stay tuned for my next video coming up next Sunday. Make sure you follow me on social media to so stay active with me. So guys, let's not forget, like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and see you guys in the next. You guys, stay but stay healthy!